my jaw because I'm wildly concerned that's not sweet enough. Then you just do a drop of water, microwave that for like 30 seconds for maybe like a minute. Let's get this ball rolling because there's a few more things we need to do. So that's gonna be, oh, yep, and the mousse. This is by the brand Snacks. They have so many cool like um, snacks. <laughs> what you can do is you add this packet with 50 to 80 mils of cream. Whisk that up and you've got a mousse ready to go. I'm pretty sure I did a big clean out of my cupboard last. Stop. <laughs> I did a clean out of my cupboard last night because my girlfriend's moving in this weekend. I brought literally a black bag worth of things that were expired, but I didn't check this one because I already had it out. That one says best for the 521. It's 24. <laughs> chocolatey enough. Give me two seconds. I just need to regroup for a second. I can't believe this. I need a bloody drink. The plan B, because I was going to use the mousse for the two different ones for the top deck as well as the strawberry one. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm using it for the peanut butter one, the Snickers one. It's this brand. That was a really cool little throw. Maybe I should play some people. This is by the brand Maxine. It's like a protein custard, so it's like a thicker protein. I use it in my smoothie bowls. I made pancakes the other day, but it was amazing. It was actually a waffle, but it was meant to be pancakes. Again, I was going to mix this cream with it, with the mousse, but then when I poured the cream out, it was a little bit lumpy, but it doesn't go off for like a month now, like a few weeks. So I'm wondering whether that was a sign not to even use this. Now nah, I'm gonna use it. Oh, yeah, let's, let's use it. All right, that might be a bit excessive though. Yeah, it's still a bit lumpy. <laughs> I can't, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's not gonna kill you. It just make you stronger. Start with a scoop and just mix that and see if we need to add more. Actually, I think the cream's probably better for this because it's gonna be thicker, essentially. Okay, well that's just like dry powder. Keep adding your cream. I was originally with the other one, just gonna use almond milk. I'm not gonna risk that lumpy cream. Okay, get some. <laughs> I just snorted. I just can't believe how tragic this is. Oh, give me strength. All I wanna do is cook for y'all, and it's really tasting at the best of times. It's working, it's coming together, gang. Ooh, this looks bloody good. That's pure protein, essentially. Why have I not done that before? I should put it in smoothie bars and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Amazing. Look at that. It's a proper mousse. Oh, it tastes amazing as well. So, what I might do, I've got these chocolate sweet drops. I'm gonna chuck that. A few drops of those in there too. Amazing. Because I like my things really sweet. Just to thicken it up. I'm struggling to mix these. It's got 
shopping together. Amazing! I don't even know why I ever almost freaked out. I only got this in the bag. Look at this. It's essentially a peanut butter mousse. Have I just invented something? Wild. Now the last thing is the top deck. Brand. Well, I was actually going to make a cheesecake layer, but I'm not sure I really want to anymore after all this drama. This is by the brand. Instead, it's a zero sugar ice cream hardener thing that you put on top of ice cream and it hardens and it sets and it's white chocolate and it's bloody delicious. All I've got to do that on the top. Nah, I think let's do that. Yep. I'm going to use the chocolate mousse. And then I'm just going to pour this over the top and then we'll dress it, design it. Afterwards, although that's what I was going to use as on the top. <sighs> Let's just check on the eggs. Two sets. We've done it. Well, I've done it, obviously. This. Okay, so see how I've just thickened it around the sides? Amazing. Let's start with the first few that we know we're doing, and then I'll come back to the cheesecake one. Raspberry jam. Here you go. Half filling it. Okay, now the interesting thing is going to get the mousse on top of that. I might need to set that for <laughs> See how this mousse spreads over. Just worried it's not gonna spread. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not really gonna spread, is it? All right, so I'm just gonna pop those back in the freezer for another five minutes. Hope that my jam sets a little bit more, and we'll pop. Then I'll be back. Jesus Christ. Two seconds. Jam has somewhat set a little bit. Figure out how to spread this mousse without moving too much of it. So what I'm thinking is this little one. It'll tool to use, to kind of place and spread. There we go, look at that. Now we've got to remember I've got to keep enough for the other ones, damn it. I'm gonna have to make a bloody second mousse, I think. I'll film that again. I really didn't want to see the raspberry jam, but you can. Whatever, we're here now. I'm gonna see if I can get that one without the jam on it. You know, it just looks like a little bit of a surprise when you cut it, I'm like, ooh, there's strawberry in there. This is a lot harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Snickers one, what I'm thinking, because Snickers does have a little bit of caramel in there too. Pop some butts on the bottom of those two. Try it with a spoon. I'll wait the caramel. Sugar free caramel topper. Okay, I'm happy now. That's bloody bang. Popping this one on the top. Imagine this one's doing really well. Interesting. Amazing. Stunning. And I'm going to put some nuts on the top as well, just in case you were wondering. I'm so glad that I've got some moves left over for later. <laughs> now, this one. Oh, I'm gonna top deck it with this. I don't think that's enough. But I really can't be bothered making another mousse. God damn it. All right, pausing this, we'll be back again for full sake. Okay, so I've just made the second mousse, but look, it's not as thick, which to be honest, isn't the end of the world in this situation because I'm gonna be pouring that like cracked stuff over the top. So you only want this one half because it's gonna be a top deck. So you need to make sure there's room for both. I mean, essentially that was the idea with all of them. It's meant to go on ice cream, so I'm really hoping that it sets on this mousse or I'm gonna be so f***ing pissed off. Come on, you son of a gun. Let's give this a go. Okay, I think we're on. Don't stop it. No, I'm happy, I'm happy again. 10 minutes in the freezer and then I'll be back again. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty happy now. I mean, I'm a little bit petrified about trying to take these out, but so far, minus all the stress, great success. Moment of truth that I'm petrified to do this because I'm really scared about this. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't want it to crack. Like eggs, lol, they crack. Oh, come on. <gasps> Stop. Thank you. I'm so happy. Look at this. Oh my god. It's got the pretty display like pattern on it and everything. Well done guys. All that stress for nothing. I knew I'd nail it anyway. I shouldn't get cocky because I've still got the rest to take out. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're playing bad scared more. <laughs> and pop these ones back in the freezer for like another minute or so while we decorate two things. Decoration. So, like hang on. Let me regroup. That's a top deck. So I'm gonna do chocolate sauce over the white sauce. Oh, stop it. Amazing. <sighs> Honestly, this was meant to be a fun activity. <laughs> kind of want this to be a bit more like crunched up, like smashed up. Not really working though the way I envisioned it. Oh, that actually looks kind of cute. This looks amazing. Caramel for the Snickers. Some nuts. 
as well. Carrying the same thing all over. Oh, do some nuts all over. I was actually gonna do it in the line, but as I said that, it went everywhere. This one, I reckon we could stick. <laughs> it's not really like. Anyway, you know what? You get the idea. You decorate it however you like. These are pretty bloody bag, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna try and drizzle the leftover jam, just like. Oh, cool. Just got a blob of jam in there. <laughs> Prettier. Chocolate on that one as well. Actually, I've got some of that leftover chocolate which still hasn't formed back into chocolate, so definitely don't need to use the oil when melting. Ah, oh, that's way amazing. Happy now. I'm gonna do like a little one, two. I probably actually now think about it. Decorated when they were setting. Up. Great success, guys. Look at these. Oh, actually, this is a bit dangerous to show you. Look at that! friendly eggs! We cut one up. I'm tempted to cut one up, but I also want to get a photo of it, I'm not going to lie. I'll oh, we'll cut them all. I'm not going to cut them all, I'm going to get a photo. Which one should we cut off? Let's cut the strawberry jam one up. Ready for this? If this breaks, I'm actually going to kill someone. It can't break. God damn it. Cool. Look at this! Oh, stop. Okay, I'm, I am literally holding the jam in place. I just don't want it to go everywhere. Look at that! Amazing! I'm so happy. Do I need to eat it? Well, I'm gonna eat it. Happy Easter, guys. Oh my God. Yum. Amazing. So good. You've got a top deck, your Snickers, cherry ripe without the cherries. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I don't know why I'm so stressed. It's meant to be the funnest episode ever. I'm literally sweating. I hope you have enjoyed my Easter special Lola Space Jam edition. Have an amazing Easter. Stay safe out there. The boys are crazy over Easter time and stresses me the hell out. Double demerits as well. Have a happy Easter and I will see you in the next episode of Little Friends Kitchen. Oh, for f sake. I forgot to say the whole like, subscribe. Please make sure to like, subscribe, tell the rest. Oh, so close. Happy holidays.